back to my channel. So today we went to Woolworths and it was a bit cray cray. I'm going to insert some footage here and show you how bad the shelves were. It was a, it's a bit, bit of a day. So I'm going to insert that footage now. Shooting me with words, but I will let them bruise. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. How bad it is um, we actually were able to get all of this which we we're quite lucky to find because all the hoarders out there have been stealing all the food so this all came to $375 and it's a lot more than what we usually spend it's about $100 more than what we usually spend but that's because we had to buy the more pricier brands of things because everything had sold out so um as you'll see something that's missing in our haul and that is milk there was absolutely no milk whatsoever so I did get a um, three litre orange juice this was on special I grabbed the family chicken nuggets TJ loves these and it's just good to have on hand Tom picked up the salt and pepper squid I grabbed some gravy slow cooked um, steak because it was like the last packet there and I was so lucky to find that one and then same with the silver side, um, this was the last smallish packet left, the only other packets were like $30 and I wasn't really going to pay that much for silver side. Got a packet of hot dogs just to freeze, just to have just in case like we run out of food or have a lazy night or whatever. Got heaps of yogurts for Sienna and the kids, grab some garlic bread, some pies, these are steak and onion. Got some guacamole dip and then the French onion dip. Got some yogurt. A kilo of the middle bacon. This is like the only big tub of butter left. Um, got some eggs. Luckily they weren't too low on eggs. Got some honey ham. This is like the rump steak and then the T-bone steak. This is like the only steak that was left. Like was all the expensive stuff and the scotch fillet. And we just weren't prepared to pay that much for the scotch fillet, to be honest. Um, we've got some crumb fish fillets and some cream cheese. Now, at the moment, you can only buy two boxes of fish and two boxes of, like, nuggets and stuff. At the moment, you're only allowed two per person. Um, I grabbed some cherry tomatoes, a cucumber, a kilo of carrots, butternut pumpkin, bananas, a kilo of these, like, odd pears. A watermelon, two kilos of apples, these are the odd bunch ones, but they're perfect for TJ. Um, corn, a kilo of like um, oranges, what's wrong? Oh. Um, half a little cauliflower, this was like the only one they had left. Broccoli, some leafy mix, and then four kilos of potatoes. And now I know it's a lot, but I'm going to chop them up and make chips out of them and freeze them. I bought some pancake mix, some LCM bars, a big pack of two minute noodles. This is like the only one left was the whole grain, so we're just gonna have to deal with that. I got three loaves of bread. Now luckily they're not restricting bread because um, we would go through this in a week. Um, I grabbed these for Sienna, just like to have a little snack because her section was completely sold out as well. Couldn't even get her formula. I got one pack of pasta because there was hardly any. Two packs of the coffee because you're only allowed two packs of coffee at the moment. Some baby food for Sienna just in case things go a bit cray cray and we can't get her any food. I grabbed one of the two fruits and jelly, two um, Doritos because we're going to have nachos. These were the only diced tomatoes left. The organic ones and these were a dollar sixty a can I think maybe maybe even a bit more maybe like a dollar eighty a can <laughs> so I was only able to get two of those I grabbed um, some mild salsa salsa for the um, nachos some mayo Italian dressing I grabbed the French penny air freshener 
I got some hazelnut spread for TJ. Got some passata sauce, cordial, breakfast juice. There was hardly any oil left. So I grabbed like the last one litre of the essentials oil. Um, I grabbed a two litre of this clean sunny glow laundry liquid. And that's another thing, like cleaning supplies were all gone too. So that like I grabbed the last one of this one. Grab some women's feminine hygiene products. I don't know if you know, but people have been buying it up too, and you can't get it anywhere. Um, Tom managed to find these, luckily, is an eight pack of soap. The last one there. Some rice noodles. Got some toothpaste. Some roll ups because they're on special this week, and muesli bars. Gonna make some brownies for the kids. Got an eight pack of whole grain wrap wraps. We're gonna wrap, um, freeze those, and then use them for Tom for when he's crutching. Grab some cereal, um, lamingtons, a big box of twenty pack of chips, some chips. Um, these are the, the fifteen shapes, and then nappies. And then also out in our fridge, out there is a like a small box of Passiona and Solo. Oh, and can't forget the most important thing of all, but Easter eggs. Because these were like $4.50 for the bunnies, I think. $4 for these ones. And then $1.50 for these ones. So I'm starting to stock up now. And that's all that you're going to see. And then the next video from me will probably be maybe an Easter basket video. I don't know yet. Have to wait and see how things progress so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah if you are if you are stockpiling please stop because it's just it's just making it really really hard for the rest of us to get the food and for the stores to keep up with the demand of it all really um, it's getting quite scary now to be honest like you know we're gonna have Australia's got plenty of food guys like we make our own toilet paper we grow our own produce we're gonna be fine it's just there's no need to stockpile. We're going to be okay. Alright guys, well I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Okay, so I just got um, another hint for you guys. If you guys are like really struggling to um, find food in your pantry or your fridge with the way things are going right now, there's this website called myfridgefood.com and basically all you do is you select all the ingredients in your pantry and in your fridge and in your freezer like all your meats and stuff, it's got everything that you could need, I don't know if you can see that, so it's got beverages, it's got bread, it's got basically everything that you could have, so you select everything on there, and then you press submit, and then what it does is it finds all these different recipes that you can make with the ingredients in your pantry and in your fridge, and so you say find recipes, and then you just scroll down and then there you go. So it's orange chicken, breakfast casserole. This is just from what was in my fridge last week. Um, tater tot casserole. So yeah, they've got so many ideas and so many cool things. So I just thought I would leave that there. I'm going to leave the link to it down below because I think everyone could use it at this point in time. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little tip. I hope it helps you eat down your what's in your fridges and what's in your pantry.